reservation debutante. Alone in her bedroom, she is now able to look at herself in the dresser mirror with a critical eye. She is ready, almost, to go to the first day of the Indian Fair. She doesn't want to act like she wants to impress. No, no, not as she dresses, not with her mother, aunts, and cousins watching, and not later either as she rides the float down Main Street. She thinks about the Anglo girls, their clothes, their glossy magazine pictures, and their unabashed self-confidence. She thinks about how she will look to the young men. She thinks about how she will look to the girls. Some seem jealous. She lives in town and has nice things. Her parents have government jobs. She thinks about how she wants to be pretty without acting like a celebrity. With newfound confidence, she's off to the parade. My name is Jay Benham. I'm an enrolled member of the Kiowa Tribe of Oklahoma. What we just witnessed was my vision of where Kiowa ledger art can be elevated in the future. Ledger art was a popular art form among the Plains Indians from about 1860 to 1920s. And it was actually art produced and made on recycled ledger pages. In the late uh, 19th century, Native Americans of the Plains were introduced to these new materials, paper, uh, pencil, watercolor. So this really uh, introduced a new way of making art. In the future, we really want to expand on reaching our communities. We want to tell stories, uh, for example, about the United States government boarding schools. And this is where children were separated from their parents and taken to uh, boarding schools. The purpose of the boarding schools was, um, according to Captain Pratt of uh, Carlisle Indian School, was to kill the Indian to save the man. So the idea was to separate the children from the parents to rid them of language, culture, and religion. So that's what we want to tell our communities, to educate everyone to be more aware of what happened during that era.